Ionic bonding. What does it involve? Well, ions. What is an ion? An ion is a charged atom. How do you make an ion? Well, you add or remove electrons from an atom. Okay, for example, let's say sodium. Okay, sodium is element number 11. It's got 11 protons, 11 electrons. To draw the electron configuration for sodium, okay, it's in period 3, so it gets 3 circles. First circle, shell, gets two crosses. The second one is full and gets eight crosses. Each cross, remember, represents an electron. Sodium is in group one and there's only one electron left, so that must go into the third shell. So that's sodium atom. To make an ion for sodium, the easy thing to do is to lose, remove, the electron. Okay. That changes the electron configuration picture. Okay, to sodium. The inside circle still has two electrons on it. The second shell okay still has eight electrons in it. We haven't changed anything that there is no third shell. The third shell has nothing in it. So we represent that by putting square brackets around the sodium to isolate the new picture and putting a plus sign to represent the fact that it's an ion. Why is it one plus? Well, sodium over here has 11 protons and it has 11 electrons. Over here, sodium ion okay it still has 11 protons because it is sodium that is defined by having 11 protons but it only has now 10 electrons so 11 protons equals 11 positive charges in the nucleus 10 electrons equals 10 negative charges outside the nucleus the overall net effect of that is a plus one charge left over. So the sodium ion is a plus one charge.